While we can expect great additions and updates to arguably the most powerful and versatile line of iPads from Apple, with the announcement of the iPad Mini 6 and the iPad 9th generation during the event last week, we now have public access of iOS 15 across all of our devices. Of course, I'm most excited for the updates of the operating system to come to the iPad. Multitasking is easier and more enjoyable to use. Widgets can be placed among apps on our home screen. We have app library organization like we have on the iPhone. And honestly, I love it so much more on the iPad. Quick note makes it easier than ever to jot something down. We're getting tags and mentions in Apple Notes, a new Translate app to make communicating a more seamless experience. There's literally tons and tons of new features, aesthetic changes, and all of that packed into this update. But I wanna cover four of my favorite features of iPadOS 15 that I use often and enhances my productivity. Quick note, I seriously did not realize how much I would use this. As a creative and someone who loses sleep over ideas I get either for content or just things that I wanna do or try, this has been so helpful in just getting it down somewhere so I don't have to waste brain power remembering it. It cuts out the steps of tapping the screen, creating a new note, stressing out how to title it or set it up, you can just swipe from the bottom corner, jot something down really quick, and I'm good to go. Another great thing about Quick Note that I love is you can, of course, highlight text and images directly in Safari and add them to the Quick Note. And if you revisit that Quick Note later, it saves those highlights in Safari. This is a fantastic feature for anyone who has to work on a lot of research papers or discussion posts for classes. And now we also have tags and mentions in Apple Notes, which is another great way of organizing and categorizing any notes that you take. Live text, yes please. On a similar note, I'm always taking pictures of either books or just something in my surroundings where I'm like, I need to look into that later or let me collect that idea for later. And with live text, I can head to my camera roll and essentially highlight text or addresses or anything within the image to make a phone call or browse Safari. Another big feature for productivity is focus. Focus allows you to draw boundaries for your text so you can be fully present in whatever moment, whether that is work, downtime, or family time. Essentially, your device can match whatever you want to focus on and you can set up reminders or automations for your iPad to transition into these different moments depending on your time, your location, etc. You can allow or not allow certain people to contact you or to get notifications from certain apps depending on how you set up your focus. Your status is automatically reflected in things like messages when you're in a focus that doesn't allow notifications. So people know when it's a reasonable time to reach you. You can also rearrange and customize your home pages of the iPad. So if you wanna create a work focus, you can create a work home page on your iPad and then choose to have only that page display when you are in a work focus, hiding any social media apps or games that might lead to temptation. I know for myself, I'm really awful when it comes to work and personal life boundaries. So for me, I plan on setting up a chill or fun time focus so I don't see all of my work apps or notifications, just fun entertainment or the Kindle app and related stuff. So I'm more likely to indulge in my free time and use it for fun versus spending more time working or being stressed out by email notifications. The last thing I really like is the updates to Safari. I've always used Chrome on my MacBook and my iMac, but something about Chrome is just not as great on the iPhone and iPad, so that's when I use Safari. With the updates to Safari though, I feel like I might be more inclined to use it on my computers now. I really like the interface, the ability for tab groups that sync across your devices. I always found that Apple's sync is the best amongst all of the devices. And then having extensions sync across those devices as well. It just feels nicer to use than the previous version of Safari and now even Chrome, which I've literally used for years. Browsing on the web on my iPad is seriously just a lot more enjoyable with the changes that was brought to Safari. And so that's four of my favorite or most used features from iPadOS 15. There are a whole host of other great features that came to the update. These are just the ones I find myself using the most or getting a lot of versatility from, from workflows I already have in place for myself. If I find myself using any of the other updates that came with iPadOS 15, I'll be sure to share that in future videos. So don't forget to subscribe, especially if this is the first video you are seeing from me. I make videos all about the iPad and the cool things you can do with it, such as digital planning, creative tutorials, and much more. So thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.